Hello my dear children. Welcome to the physics class. We have already learned refraction through rectangular glass lamp and refraction through prism. Today we are moving to the next unit of light that is refraction through lens. Lens is a transparent medium bounded by one or two spherical surfaces. That means the boundary of lens is a part of a sphere. The lenses either converges or diverges the rays of light falling on it. Depending on its action, lenses are classified as two. Convex lens or converging lens and concave lens or diverging lens. A convex lens is thick in the middle and thin in the periphery. In other words, a convex lens has its middle portion bulged and a convex lens converges the rays of light falling on it. Depending on the shape, convex lens are of three types. Biconvex lens, planar convex lens and concave or convex lens. A biconvex lens has its two boundaries bulged outwards or a biconvex lens has two spherical boundaries while a planar convex lens has one surface plane while the other surface converging. On the other hand, a concave or convex lens has one concave surface and one convex surface. That means one surface curved inwards and the other surface bulged outwards. All these three lenses have converging action. Now we can move to concave lens. Concave lenses are called Diverging lenses since it diverges the rays. A concave lens is thick in the periphery and thin in the middle. In other words, a lens which bent inwards in the middle is called a concave lens. A concave lens has diverging action. Concave lens are also of three types. Biconcave lens, planar concave lens and convex or concave lens. A biconcave lens has two diverging surfaces while a planar concave lens has one surface plane and the other surface concave while a convex or concave lens has one convex surface and the other surface concave in shape. Both concave or convex and convex or concave lens has one surface concave and the other surface convex but both are different in their shape and also in their action. A concave or convex lens is thick in the middle while a convex or concave lens is thick in the periphery. A convex or concave lens has diverging action while a concave or convex lens has converging action. In this lesson, we are going to learn only about biconvex and biconcave lens. Now let's look in detail about the action of a lens. If you cut lens into different portions, you can see each portion behaves like a prism or each portions are of the path of a prism. As you all know, prism bends the rays towards its base. So in a convex lens, the upper part of the lens has prisms with base in downward direction and lower portion has prisms 
with its base in upward direction so when the light ray falls in the upper portion of the lens the prism in the upper portion bends the rays towards its base that is in downward direction while the prisms in the below surface bends the ray towards up in effect all the rays falling in upper portion bends downward and the rays falling in lower portion bends upwards produces convergence of the ray in a concave lens if you cut them into different portions you can see some prisms in which the upper portion has some prisms with its base in upward direction and the lower portion has some prisms with its base in downward direction hence the upper portion bends the rays in upward direction that means towards its base while the lower portion bends the rays towards downward in effect we feels that the rays are coming from somewhere behind the lens that means the rays appears to be diverged this is how lenses converges or diverges the rays now let's look some terms related to lens a lens has two surfaces each surface of the lens is a part of a sphere the center of the sphere whose part is the lens surface is called the center of curvature of that surface of the lens since a lens has two spherical surfaces so there are two centers of curvature of the lens this center of curvature is represented by the letter c now the radius of the sphere whose part is lens surface is called radius of curvature of the lens for equiconvex and equiconcave lens the radius of curvature of both surface are equal now the line joining the centers of curvature of two surfaces of the lens is called principal axis now let's move to optical center optical center is a point inside the lens it is a point on the principal axis of the lens such that a ray of light passing through this point emerges parallel to its direction of incidence but if the lens is thin the refraction at both the surface of the lens cannot be identified properly therefore a ray of light directed towards the optical center of a thin lens can be considered to pass through the lens undeviated and undisplaced hence we can conclude optical center of a thin lens is the point on the principal axis of a lens such that a ray of light directed towards it passes undeviated through it a ray of light can enter a lens from either side therefore a lens has two principal focus one on either side of the lens these are known as the first focal point and second focal point let's look the first and second focal point in detail for a convex lens the first focal point is a point f1 on the principal axis of the lens such that the rays of light coming from it after refraction through the surface of the lens becomes parallel to the principal axis of the lens for a concave lens the first focal point is a point f1 on the principal axis of the lens such that the incident rays of light appearing to meet at it after refraction from the lens become parallel to the principal axis of the lens now second focal point for a convex lens the second focal point is a point f2 
on the principal axis of the lens such that the rays of light incident parallel to the principal axis after refraction from the lens pass through it. For a concave lens, the second focal point is a focal point F2 on the principal axis of the lens such that the rays of light incident parallel to the principal axis after refraction from the lens appears to be diverging from this point. In convex and concave lens, the first and second focal points are in opposite sides. Now, the distance between, now let's see what is focal plane. A plane passing through the first focal point and normal to the principal axis of the lens is called first focal plane. And the plane passing through the second focal point and normal to the principal axis of the lens is called second focal plane. The last term is focal length. The distance of focus from the optical center of the lens is called focal length. A lens has two focal lengths. The distance from optical center of the lens to its first focal point is called first focal length F1 of the lens. And the distance from optical center O of the lens to the second focal point is called second focal length F2 of the lens. Now let's look what are the factors affecting focal length of a lens. Focal length of a lens depends on radii of curvature of a lens, refractive index of the material of the lens and the wavelength of light used. If the given lens is placed in water instead of air, the focal length increases due to decrease in refractive index. By the same way, if you use a thick lens, it has less focal length due to less radii of curvature. That means a thin lens has greater focal length than a thick lens. Now, the longer wavelength deviate less and shorter wavelength deviates more. Hence, violet light has lesser focal length than red light. Now, if a part of lens is covered, the focal length will not change, but the image will be blur due to less intensity of light falling on the lens. Hence, the intensity of the image change while the position, size and nature of the image will not change. Finally, let's look the difference between a convex lens and a concave lens. A convex lens is thick in the middle and thinner in the periphery, while a concave lens is thicker in the periphery and thinner in the middle. A convex lens converges the ray of light falling on it, while a concave lens diverges the ray of light. A convex lens has real focus since the rays of light actually passing through the focal point. While a concave lens has virtual focus since the rays are not actually falling on that point but it seems to come from that point. My dear children, today I taught you some important points about lens. Hope you all understood all the terms and action of the lens. Thank you and have a nice day.